third time lucky. Pus. I posted that last one on the completely wrong website, which is good, which is not, which is clever, but there we are. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try again. I know I'm a few minutes late, but that's because I'm an idiot. Uh, if you didn't see when I went live on a different Facebook page, um, welcome. This is Cleethorpe's Park Run's sixth anniversary uh, rock speech. Not happening from the rock. It's happening from my back garden. Uh, and I say apologies for the, for, the, uh, for the late start. That's because I'm not as good at, with technology as I thought I should be. Uh, I'll share the other speech because that was far more amusing. So I'll share that on the, on the page later. Um, as this is a rock speech, obviously I'm going to go over the, the usual um, housekeeping issues. Um, first of all, does anyone have a milestone that they wish to celebrate? I'll give you a clue. There would be one. Um, it would be unfortunate. It would be sad. I feel sad for Caroline because um, the day before the lockdown started, Caroline Nearney was on 249 park runs at Cleethorpes. Well, not all at Cleethorpes, but 249 park runs. So whenever she runs next, it's her 250th. And she's now been waiting nine, ten weeks for that to happen. So as soon as she comes back, we'll give her a massive round of applause um, to congratulate her on a fantastic achievement um it's good news she's been part of the part of the part run family at cleethorpe for a long time so uh it's long overdue this this accolade um remember on one occasion she came back it was neve actually that told her they were on a, they were doing something in leeds uh, i think they'd stayed overnight in leeds maybe gone to a concert and um neve made caroline get up and get uh, get to cleethorpe's in the morning because they had volunteered um, at Park Run, so um, the Nearnies are a very, very important part of the, the family, very, very key members of the family, and uh, it'd be fantastic to see her get that 250 shirt. Um, respect for other park users, that's the thing we usually talk about, looking out for other park users. Obviously, other path users are the issue right now, um, and look out for them in the sense that while you're out running, because a lot of you are still getting out and still getting runs in, while you're out running, Make sure you're respecting social distancing. I know it's quite difficult, and other people aren't, but if we can make sure that we are keeping two metres away from people while we run, that's a fantastic thing. That's super. Um, that will keep everyone happy, and that will keep everyone fit. Look out for one another. Make sure that one another's happy. And get out and run and enjoy yourself. If you've got a dog, keep it on a short lead. If you've got a, a child under 11, obviously, keep them within arm's reach. All of that stuff still applies even though we're not running around a park anymore, we're just running around our local areas. Um, what I wanted to do, what I did on the, on the, the last, the last uh, video, which was fantastic and which has been shared to a, to, to a site relating to a, a local running event, I'm good, I'm good, um, was just give some credit to the, the rest of the team, not just myself, but the rest of the team that, that helped set up Cleethorpe's Park Run uh, six years ago, six years ago today. Obviously, the work started in 2013. Uh, I like to say that what I was at Thunder Run, um, which is a 24-hour relay race, with Leslie Parry. And we discussed this concept of part run. There was a part run locally at Conkers, and uh, we, we spoke about part run, said how good it would be to have one locally, um, what it would bring to the community, how people would enjoy it, how it would start people running. It would be fantastic. And, um, and Leslie said, well, why don't we start one? So, well, okay, where should we go? Where should we find it? And Leslie knows parks and running and local areas she, she spent decades on her feet uh, around local areas so um, she, we came up with some ideas of parks that could support it I emailed Park Run, Park Run said to me there's a chap called Steve Green, he's having a look as well why don't you have a chat with him so I had a chat with Steve uh, I had a chat with Helen Atkinson, she, she said oh that's a fantastic idea, that would be superb and we decided we'd have a couple of venues we People's Park Cleethorpe's Country Park, see which one the council were happy with. And the council were happiest with Cleethorpe's Country Park because at the time it wasn't really being used. It's there. Um, it existed, but it wasn't really being used. So the council said, by all means, put your park, whatever thing it is, put your park thing at Cleethorpe's Country Park. So we had permission. Then Helen went out and raised the £3,000 that we needed to have to, to start the event. Because, of course, we... <laughs> we we don't. We make no profit. We make no money from the event. We have to raise three thousand pounds to start it, uh, 
and she did. She within weeks. She'd got the money, she'd raised it, we got it started, we got a start date. We started on the bank holiday weekend in 2014. Same day as Bognor Regis. Now I was a bit reluctant having a first event on uh, on on the bank holiday weekend because I thought it would be busy and I thought people would say, Oh there's a park run on, let's go down. But actually the tourists, the park run tourists, couldn't book hotel places. I had a couple of friends that had come down that were park runners that supported me on the day. Um, Sarah, my friend from Milton Keynes, came down and helped me present the rock speech, which was actually from a bench. Um, but we had about 200 on that day, and we handled 200 very, very well. That was the last time we had that sort of number for a long time, because we went to... We, we went down to 170. People were getting the idea of park run, but don't forget, we were the first park run in that part of Lincolnshire at all. We were only the third park run in the whole county of Lincolnshire, and it was new to us. I was, when, before we started Cleethorpe Park Run, I was registered to Finsbury Park in London. Um, everyone else, people registered to Lincoln, people registered to Scunthorpe, but most of the community, actually, brand new park runners. Brand new to the whole idea. So... Um, so we started and we were building slowly 50 70 and then the winter came and we found that our course was completely unsuitable for the winter it was lovely in the summer you ran up the grass there was there were wildflower meadows it was beautiful it was a beautiful course um for those of you that don't remember it you run past the, the the hut past the rock past the hut to the gates of the park and turned left and then went up to where the cone is now so there was no out and back, it was just a circuit. It was lovely in the summer, beautiful, but in the winter, quagmire. And people had come back splashing, having splashed through the mud, mud all up their clothes, and they said, I'm not doing this anymore, I don't like it. So we had to rethink the course, and we rethought the course. Mick Casey had the fantastic idea of making it a three-lapper with an out and back. So that's what we did. We looked at it, we measured it, Steve measured it, got out there, measured it, three-lapper with an out and back. Bang, we'll have that. And we've got a better course now because it starts and finishes in the same place. And it's completely tarmac and it's brilliant for wheelchairs and it's brilliant for push chairs and it's a super course. I love it. It's not the original one, but I love it. It's fantastic. Um, so then people came along and they built and the community built and the family built and we started to have more and more people come along. And we got up to the 200s and the 250s, nearly 300s sometimes now for us, which is fantastic. The event has grown and the family has grown with it. And the core team has grown and we've invited more people on. We've got the Alice, we've got Fran Allison come on. We've got uh, the man in yellow come on. We've got Mike, we've got a uh, couple of Johns, three Johns, three Johns on the core team now. It's very John heavy. A um, couple of Steves, uh, Heather. Uh, Stacey and Sammy, big, big, big old core team now. It's fantastic. And of course, Colin, who's not part of the core team, but is a massive part of the event with his photography every week. And Sarah, of course, who does the photography when Colin is the Sarah's the supply teacher in the world of photography, if you will. Um, so the community's grown. One thing the community did, which I want to bring up and I want to mention, which is very important to me, is the community raised £1,200 for a defibrillator. Park Run headquarters decided that every event needed to have an automatic electronic defibrillator in order to work and it, the whole of the course and because the country park is quite secluded there are defibrillators around publicly accessible but um, too far so we had to buy one. We bought one I decided that well, but the core team and yourselves decided that Rather than having it in the heart on a Saturday, we would um, we'd share it with the community as a whole. Because the community as a whole, we, we imposed on them enough on the Saturdays for our hour and a half coming along. So just to give something back to them, we put a cabinet, we put the defibrillator outside the cabinet. And we've never used our defibrillator on a Saturday. I've taken it with me once, we test it every week, but we've never used it. But the community has twice. It's gone out twice. Most recently, this month, it got taken out by an, by an ambulance uh, on an emergency call. Uh, it wasn't taken out by an ambulance, it was taken out by two passers-by who found a casualty. Called an ambulance, were given the location of the defibrillator by 999, got it, administered it. It took 15 minutes for the ambulance to arrive. But by that time, our defibrillator had got this casualty back, back not up and walking, but had brought him back 
brought him back from the brink, if you will. So, our defibrillator has saved a life. And we raised money for that, and it's fantastic news. It's fantastic news that it's, it's done well. It's fantastic news that the community is getting used for it. So I'm very, very proud of that. Um, but that's it. I mean, we continue to grow. And um, we will continue to grow. We'll continue to grow slowly. We can't get too big because we've got limited parking. But there's a lot of people now out there, I see, walking up and down, running up and down, started running because the Zumba classes aren't on or because the spinning classes aren't on or because they can't go swimming. So they want to get their government sanctioned exercise so they're going for a trot up and down the uh, up and down the road and if one in ten of them sticks to running that's good and if one in ten of those that stick to running come to part run because you've spoken to them when we can now start speaking to people again and said why don't you come down and give part run a try that's going to build our community and that's going to make our family even bigger but even happier and it's fantastic news so I love you all Cleethorpe's Park Run look after yourselves look after one another get out keep running and as soon as I've got some news we will get back we'll be back in the park and we'll have our sixth birthday properly and we'll have a celebration and we'll have fancy dress and we'll really really go for it sorry it was late sorry I've kept you from your runs I'm gonna try and sort out what I'm gonna do with the various videos now because I'm a clown and I will see you all as soon as the government lets me see you all I'm currently banned I'm under house arrest but as soon as I can see you all love you all see you soon bye bye